Ayon na kalagan, ako si Kalagan Fritz at ito ang Laagan sa Subo. Don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel at Laagan sa Subo and click the bell button for notification. Like our official Facebook page at Laagan sa Subo. It's another pageant episode and another Cebuana Queen na naman ang machichikahan natin sa araw na to. Help me welcome Miss Cebu 2023 candidate number one. We have Miss Olive May Sofia Bihag. Hello! Hello it's like a nice family meeting you. Yes, and it's an honor to have you here at Lagan sa Subo. You're so pretty, my God. <laughs> Barbing Barbie lang mga kalaagan, <laughs> diba? Alright, now, here at Laagan sa Subo, we have these segments. The first segment that we have is the boiling question. But, the question is, are you ready? I am born ready. Good! Now, there are boiling questions here. I want you to pick one first and give okay. it to me. Okay. Oh, yung mahaba agad. <laughs> Alright. Your first boiling question is, a beauty pageant is a place of transformation. What was the most important transformation that has happened to you while you were at Miss Cebu 2023 pageant? Well, this year has been really tough to me. Mm -hmm. The past month has been really tough and I was overthinking if I could take the challenge of joining Miss Cebu at the same time doing my work in yes. Manila. So it was very tough and the transformation that I had was my mindset transformation. I learned how to be resilient, mm -hmm. how to be able to adapt to the new things, the new challenges that I am facing. And because of that, I'm enjoying every job that I take now, especially the journey of the unknown of Miss Cebu. And yes. I know that being resilient is part of being a Cebuana, so I'm mm -hmm. very proud that I have achieved that aspect. And I think the mindset transformation is really something for me to celebrate because the ups and downs to mentally and physically you can't handle that very easily and being able to overcome it I think is something to be really proud of and I hope that with all the people who are having ups and downs right now that mm -hmm. mindset transformation changing their perspectives in life is really something to be very useful in the future whenever they encounter challenges absolutely very well said no oh naman talaga no when you say Cebuana resilient yes. not only resilient but basta Cebuana guapa wow. <laughs> okay now pick your next boiling question okay here we go all right okay your next boiling question is what is the most difficult challenge you had in your entire life and how will this help you achieve your advocacy if you will win as Miss Cebu 2023? Well, my advocacy is about helping the unprivileged people, those who suffer from extreme poverty. Mm -hmm. And as I grow older and as I travel to different places, I've seen so many sad eyes, so many people on the streets, and I couldn't stomach how hard it is or how sad the feeling is to be hungry or to be problematic on how to feed your family the next day or probably the night. Mm -hmm. If I will be able to be a Miss Cebu 2023, I'd find rooms and spaces on where I can contribute for those unprivileged people because my advocacy is about the human rights for mm -hmm. those in you know, extreme poverty. And I think the biggest challenge is what can I do and what can I give because I have nothing there's no challenge in my life that's something tragic, but I think something's very sad is when I realize that what I'm experiencing now is just the watered-down reality of what this reality is. Oh. Because when I see people, it's very heartbreaking. We have food on our table, we have shelter, but what about them? What about the children? What is the children's future? So if I win Miss Cebu, I'll be able to contribute and to be a pioneer of inspiring the youth and to provide for those who need the help that I can give. Yes, no, as in like you have a big heart for those uh, people who are in need talaga. Mm -hmm. And also, yes naman talagang mamaisip mo no na um, ikaw ang dami mong kinakain. Paano yung iba? Yeah. Alright, pick your next boiling question. Okay. Alright. Okay. Mm, this is interesting. Your next boiling question is, on a scale of 1 to 10, mm -hmm. how would you rate yourself 
as a responsible Cebuana and why? I give myself an eight. An eight? Yes. Okay, interesting. Because joining <laughs> Cebu is already a stepping stone for me into proving how much I want to serve the Cebuanos, mm. the Cebu. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to grow more and to be able to give myself a 10. If I win Miss Cebu, or even if I don't win Miss Cebu, I'm still going to give my service and offer Bridge Cebu to the world, rather. Yes. Being crowned as Miss Cebu or without the crown Miss Cebu, you will still continue your advocacy. Yes, I would. It would, have... not, it would not stop here mm -hmm. in Miss Cebu because I am devoted in helping people in Cebu especially. Yes. Wow, thank you so much for that. Now, pick your last but not the least pointing question. Okay. Mm. Your last but not the least boiling question is How will you bridge Cebu to the world? So as we all know, Cebu already has everything Like right now, <laughs> be it with its attractive places, yes. delicious food, and mm -hmm. especially the people And to add on to that, I'd like to use the power of social media And I think our generation now has the power to harness what social media can do give to good and I think if we can input what Cebu has on social media because social media reaches the international arena I think it would open doors of opportunities in the whole world and I think tourism is an economic tool and I, I would like to capitalize on that and I would also like to pioneer and inspire other people mm -hmm. as well as well as the youth to um, be idealistic and be collaborative when it comes to for example, improving tourism, improving tourism infrastructure so we could attract more tourists here in Cebu and it would create more employment, abundance of employment, most especially because tourism is an economic tool and if we open doors, then we also open doors for our fellow Cebu, Cebuanas as well. Yes, absolutely correct. No? And tama naman talaga, um, social media is one of the powerful tools talaga. Very. Yes. It has uh, a big impact on us. Correct. All right, the questions are getting more interesting and the answer are very well said with our candidate number one and Miss Cebu 2023. But before we continue our next segment, I would like to thank first our sponsor. I would like to thank City Center Suite for the accommodation. Thank you very much for the venue. And I would like to personally thank Team Flora Dermatologica for always making me fresh because I am Team Flora Dutch. Now, let's lighten up, let's loosen up because our next segment is The Fast Talk. Oh my god, <laughs> All right. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, fast talk. Hot or cold? Hot. Oo, hindi marte ka ba? Hindi. Oo, hindi. Madali ka ba ma in love? Oo. How many times do you take a bath? Three. No cell phone or internet? No internet. One piece or two piece when it comes to pageant? One piece. Walang tulog, walang kain? Walang tulog. Favorite pastime? Reading. Island life or city life? Island life. Beauty or brain? Brain. Travel or books? Books. Sweet or spicy? Spicy. YouTube or Netflix? Netflix. Fruits or vegetable? Fruits. Hashtag ng buhay mo. Be you to the fullest. Ah, I see. Yeah. Now, can you please invite our Lagan to Cebu viewers where we can follow you, your social media platform, and how we can support you for the upcoming Miss Cebu 2023. Go ahead. Hi, everyone. I'm candidate number one, all of me, Sophia Bihag. Please do follow me for more updates on my social media accounts on Instagram and Facebook at Calista Olive. And of course, please do support us on our journey this coming January 11 at Waterfront Hotel and Casino, Grand Wall. Yes, once again, Nakalagan, our Miss Cebu 2023 candidate number one, Miss Olive May Sophia Bihag. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for guesting here at Lagan Thank sa Cebu. Much. I had so much fun. Yes, congratulations on being part of Miss Cebu and good luck for your upcoming competition. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And also, don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel at Lagan sa Cebu and click the bell button for notification. Like our official Facebook page at Lagan sa Cebu. You may also follow me on my TikTok account, Instagram, and Facebook at Fritz Gerald Alcaraz. Once again, ako si Kalaagan Fritz nagsasabi, stay safe, be a responsible Kalaagan, and this is Laagan Sasugbo. La